Concor works across a multitude of sectors and safety is a major focus and plays a critical role in ensuring a project's success. Can you talk to me on why Concor believes safety is integral and how, in general, this contributes to the success of a project? We think a successful project is a safe project. You know, safety, excellence and construction or operational excellence are part of one single integrated system. They're the flip sides of, of the same, of, of, a, of a single coin. Um, you can't have a, a, a site that's successful or a project that's successful that doesn't also deliver the safety results. And in our experience, if the site is delivering on time, delivering the numbers and delivering the quality requirements, it's probably going to be a safe site as well. How has the COVID-19 pandemic affected this? I mean, how has it changed Concor's approach? It's interesting. It's, there's been some positive implications. But first and foremost, it has required a lot of management's time and attention. But fortunately, given the agility and the ability of our site management teams, they've been able to accommodate the COVID-19 protocols and all those requirements which have been significant. But they still continue to focus on safety and deliver. We've just come out of a really successful year. So in a COVID year, we've addressed what we needed to do from a COVID point of view. We think even our COVID outcomes has been good and our safety outcomes have been maintained. And then just touching on initiatives specifically, what are some of the safety initiatives currently in place at Concor? And uh, will any new initiatives be introduced this year? We have a raft of safety initiatives. We have a strategic framework which guides all of those initiatives. I would say the, the, our premier uh, program is what we call our Major Incident Prevention Program, or, or MIP, which focuses on the controls and preventative measures which can prevent people being hurt badly or even, or even killed. Um, another important program is our Zero Harm Leadership Behaviours, which guides our managers in terms of the behaviours we expect of them in order for us to achieve zero harm on our sites. One of those behaviours is visible felt leadership. All of these programmes we're continuing with this year. We're not envisaging changing any programmes this year. COVID-19 has caused some distraction towards the COVID-19 protocols last year. So our intention this year is really to refresh our commitment and our, the way we implement our established programs. If anything, we're going to be using, and COVID has taught us this, we're going to be using technology to enhance those programs.